So in the previous video, I had shown how to create geographic maps using shape files. Uh, uh, in this video, I'll be showing how to create maps using x, y coordinates. And in this video, I'll be uh, using the data set from STIPS, uh, which is a course. Uh, it's, it's called Statistical Thinking for Industrial Problem Solving. It is a free course that is offered by SAS, where you can learn uh, how to uh, use Jump. Uh, and in this video, uh, the data set that I have here is uh, the number of defects on the different dyes on a wafer. And wafers uh, at the industry are usually uh, manufactured in lots. So in this ex video, I'll be showing how to use the XY coordinates to create map of these uh, wafers and identify the locations or visualize the locations on the wafer that have high number of defects. So we'll be using graph builder here. So first thing we do is open up graph builder. And then here you can see we have x underscore die, y underscore die. These are the x, y coordinates uh, for the dice. And defects is the number of defects. So here uh, we drag and drop um, uh, x underscore die as the x variable and y underscore die as the y variable. By default, a scatter plot has been created this obviously does not make any sense. We can remove the smoother and convert this into a heat map. And then um, you can drag and drop defects as a color variable. So now you can see a heat map has been created uh, for the die, but uh, we'll have to change the size of each of these uh, boxes. So we can do that by double clicking on the x-axis and making the increment one and the minor tick as zero. And uh, we do the same thing for y-axis, uh, make the increment as 1 and the minor tick as 0. So now you can see a heat map uh, uh, for each of these dies uh, on a single wafer has been created. So here as per the gradient you can see that the red regions are the ones that have the more number of defects and the blue ones are the ones with the least number of defects. Now uh, we know that wafers are usually created in uh, as a part of a uh, single lot so they can have multiple number of wafers so in case we have such data you can actually drag and drop lot as a wrap variable and you can create the trellis plot for uh, uh, different number of wafers uh, in a single lot. and. Uh, now, uh, so I'm going to reduce the size so that uh, the, date, the plot can be seen more clearly. So you can see that in this lot there were five wafers, and uh, wafer one, two, and three have uh, more or less uh, less number of defects. And you can see that um, uh, wafer four and five has uh, a lot of defects, especially towards the perimeter of uh, the wafers. And once you're finished, uh, you, you can say done.